My name is Michael. I'm a teacher in a school in Mödling, Austria, and I teach uh, students in the age from 14 to 19. And my subjects are math and computer science. In the next few minutes, I will talk about my experience during the distance learning and how we solved it in our school. The school was very confused because we have not really a platform and um, we used already the Microsoft uh, 365 platform, but it was not uniform. And so we started to um, teach the teacher and to solve a lot of problems because um, an email communication with maybe 180 students um, is not really um, suitable. And so they were very happy to use a learning platform where you can um, use a one-to-one -one chat or use a group chat uh, with a specific class. We spent a lot of time at night to help the teachers, to help our colleagues uh, to get things right. Model one of our MS Teams uh, workshop uh, was how can I communicate with students in a lockdown phase? So um, what are the possibilities? And this is a one-to-one -one chat or group chat or an announcement in a team. Um, this was a really huge part in the model one. And of course, how to share files with the students and how to collect files from the students. In module two, we go a little bit further because we used um, forms and quizzes for Microsoft and um, showed them how to, to make a form with uh, feedback questions or do a quiz uh, with some knowledge questions. So, and, and how to import this quiz to Microsoft Teams as hub for learning in our school. This had a huge impact and, and day two from model two was OneNote and we showed OneNote, we connected OneNote with MS Teams and so we go this step further that the students can really easily put their pictures into a OneNote site and the teacher can easily correct it on this OneNote site and you can write a thing to it. You can make an audio uh, to, to the student in one page. Module three, we will go really deep in the thing and give them the abil ability to record tutorials. And after these two days, I saw a lot of um, new videos on our stream platform um, made from our colleagues in the, in the module three. The most important thing is that the teacher, the students are familiar with is in the video. And he talks about the topic in a way he does it in the normal mode. So this is familiar to student and this is how he learned. You, you will have students with absolutely no will to contact you and, and not messaging you and they do their topics and uh, their tasks very well. Um, they will do everything you say um, and don't need this communication. But when a student needs it in class, it's way more difficult to go in this communication with the teacher because after the 50 minutes with 25 students in class, you leave the class, go to another class, again 25 students, and there is no communication. This is not possible because of the timetable. And some of the students want this communication and now there is no barrier anymore. I want a question, then they get the answer or they get a question from me to find their own answers. Me and my colleague did also uh, video tutorials and this uh, on YouTube because we don't have the barrier with uh, some logins because they don't even have logins for our Microsoft environment. So we um, maybe recorded 11, 12 videos, especially for students um, to learn um, how to, to, to chat with the teacher, how to chat with other colleagues, how to um, reply to an announcement or how to upload a file or turn in an assignment or how to take a picture and, and load it and, and, and make an upload to this platform. So this were needed because when you don't have any experience with an e-learning tool, you, you, you need some help. And there are a lot of videos on YouTube, but um, the 
environment of our school and the environment of the school um, over the street are not the same because every environment has some special features, has some special needs. When, where can I log in? Where can I get my credentials? And so it was important to do a really fitted uh, video for our school. Don't close the live sessions, just go out the room and let the students alone in this room and then they can communicate. This is their space, then they can communicate each other, maybe um, build up some channels where they can communicate with each other. Not 100% of the students you will catch, yeah, this, this is not possible, but a high number um, you get and they are really bring some, some good, good uh, input. Thank you for listening and goodbye and happy e-learning.